Alright guys, so welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how I usually do my rotations. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that this was probably one of the most requested tutorials. So make sure to follow me on Instagram where I consistently interact with you guys when editing is concerned or like everything. So long story short, let's get started. So firstly, you have to prepare at least two clips. As you can see, I have some more. I also added quick set to the clips, which will make your rotation transition more smooth. Then select the first clip and add motion tiles. And I often also add optics compensation. But that's just something that I personally prefer, so you can do it as well or just ignore it. Once you have added the two effects, mark them, press Ctrl C and add it to the other clips with Ctrl V. Now we are going to start with the transition by selecting the first clip and pressing S and Shift R to bring up the scale and rotation. Then animate both of them, change the scale value to 300 and the rotation value is up to you. Um, I'm going to go with like 22. Then go to the very end of the clip and change the scale value to 110 and the rotation value to A0. Drag them to the very end, mark them, press F9 and open the graph editor. Then go to the scale value and follow me along with the graph. What's important here is that you don't make your graph very fast like this because you have to make your transition like fade out. It will look way smoother this way than like this way. So just follow me along. And of course you can just play around with the graph like make it like slower or I don't know like faster. I'm gonna just leave it like this. Then press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and Y to bring up the null. Or you can also just, I don't know, like right click, go to new and click on null object. Then parent your first clip with the null and bring up the scale and rotation. Again, animate both of them, drag them to like to the middle and change the scale value to 70 and change the rotation value to 45. Animate all of them, press F9 again and open the graph editor. This time you're not going to make a graph like this, but you have to make a faster graph. And when you uh, play around with the graph, you can see the transition starts very soon. Make sure to add an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl, Alt and Y. Cut it to the length like the end of the first clip and the beginning of the second clip. Then select the adjustment layer, look for directional blur, add it to your clip and the direction can be like this. You just have to adjust the blur length which I will change to 300. Animate it, press U to see the keyframe and drag it to the middle of both clips. So it starts with the second clip. Then step like 6 to 7 keyframes like this and change the length to 0. And the same for the second clip. Now as you can see, you can't see the motion tiles, but it's still way too hard, so animate all of them, press F9 and open the graph editor. So when you did it, it will look like this. If you want, you can also copy the adjustment layer and drag it to the beginning, so you have a blur for the first clip as well. So the first clip is done, go to your second clip and make the same as we did here. Bring up the scale and rotation, animate both of them, change the scale value to 300. And now you have to look which value you use here for the rotation. I use 19, so you have to change the rotation value to minus 19 or minus 20. Go to the very end of the clip, change the value to 0 and the scale again to 110. Mark all of them, press F9 and open the graph editor. Now we are going to do the same thing as in the first clip. And once you're done with that, you're basically finished. What I could also recommend is that you add some VFX or like some ghost shakes or some cool effects onto the clips so it doesn't look like some raw clips with just tweaks on them. And what's important as well is that you don't have to play around with just the scale and rotation. You can also bring up the position and I don't know, like bring them up like to the middle and you can also do a rotation to the right side. But um, that's up to you guys. I hope you could learn from it. Yeah, I hope you have a nice day. Enjoy your weekend. And yeah.